Hi, Scorpio. Welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thanks to all of you for all the support. I love reading for you and being connected with you here through YouTube. It's pretty remarkable. And if you're new here, welcome. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't fit, just come back in a couple of days. You can watch a new reading. Fridays are always a general reading. So today's reading will bring in all areas of life. Mondays are a different style every week. You're just going to have to come back to see what that's all about. And if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. What advice do you have for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Scorpio need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all involved with Scorpio? Messages for Scorpio, please. All right, we will start here with the tarot, and then we'll have the angel answers. You've got the Knight of Pentacles, the Three of Cups. I haven't seen that in a long time. The Nine of Cups, the Two of Wands, the Two of Swords, Temperance, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Six of Cups. Beautiful. Three, six, nine. There's something important there. There's a numerology there that just seems very important. Now, it made me think of Tesla, Nikola Tesla. Then it made me think of the car Tesla, so if somebody here that your Nine of Cups is a Tesla with that Ace of Pentacles, you're going to be driving home in that baby. You have here also, let's see, we've got Sagittarius energy, water, earth, air, fire, all the elements. But I do feel like too with the Two of Wands, Two of Swords, what I got with this, once we got back to the with the Three of Cups, Six of Cups, Somebody here, if you're in an impasse in a relationship, you're not on speaking terms. I do feel like you have great healing energy. You have somebody that's going to come forward. And I feel like they come from the heart. They, they don't want this, okay? Whoever's got a conflict, I do feel like they want to have a new beginning with you. For some, it may be reconciliation. For others, if it's a friend or even a relative, like a, a sibling or a cousin, I do see things going forward. And with this Knight of Pentacles, I feel like they've been thinking about it for a long time trying to figure out the best way to approach you. Now, the Knight of Pentacles is good news is on the way. You've got a beautiful reading overall. Now, for some of you too, it may be somebody new coming in or a new opportunity. Those of you that there's money showing up here, I do feel like it's not just a, a, a on a lark is what I just heard, but I feel like it's not just a short-term fulfillment. This is for the long haul when we see this night. It's also to continuing to look at your life, continuing to evaluate, make plans for the future. But once you get set, that's when you take off running with this. So it's not just sitting still. It really is about looking at things, doing it in a way that's going to be the best path of success, the least resistance, whatever it is, you're going to be moving forward. So with this three, six, and nine of cups, I just find this quite alluring and I also feel like, too, you and your own energy are entering into a time when you're going to just be feeling the love. But you're also, too, with this, it's very compatible energy for you where things are in flow. People around you are being helpful. If you work in something, too, like I see somebody that looks like a flower shop or something like that, or maybe you end up being on the receiving end of flowers with that nine of cups, I do feel like whatever it is, there's celebration around you. It's people really helping each other out. And I think you're going to enjoy that a great deal. Um, so, and if you get a Tesla, hell, maybe they'll give you a bouquet with it. I don't know what they normally give their clients, but with the three of cups, you've arrived. Now, this is an engagement card too, by the way. I mentioned it can be reunion, but overall, it's a card of great appreciation. So if you're taking a new job too, with that Two of Wands taking that leap of faith, but you've had a little bit of hesitation with the Two of Swords, I feel like you're going to go after it. And with this, I, you're going to be appreciated. It is an energy where you get, you know, what you give is what you get. And so this is like teaching us or, or reminding us to be in appreciation. And that's what will be on the receiving end. And I also feel like, too, if you do something in the cosmetic world, like something that helps people with their appearance in some way, 
I feel like they're going to be ingratiated towards you. You might get better tips, or if you're in a job where you don't get tips, you might start getting them. I feel like people are going to want to be giving you gifts because they feel like it was in some ways life changing. I mean, where they really feel like th that you've influenced them, you've affected them in a way that moves them. And so we've got it again here too, by the way, with the nine of cups here, high vibrational stuff though. Um, so this nine of cups has you sitting pretty, has you feeling proud of your accomplishments, but people around you take notice too. They love this energy. So when you're in a nine of cups, it's going to be like a magnet for good people where they say, God, I just love talking to you. I, you know, and if you do something on the phone where you have to deal with the public, I do feel like people want to talk with you. Like they'll say, oh God, I know you got to go, but I, this has been fun. That sort of energy where I feel like you're just going to attract, 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 and it's all positive. So with the nine of cups too, it is wish fulfillment, one of the lottery tickets of the tarot. So those of you too that have been trying to start something new for yourself, a new chapter with money, or if it is home ownership, or if it's moving into a place, you're going to be nine of cups proud of that place where you say, I can't wait to have people over. This is so great. I love where I live. I love my surroundings. I, I just am loving my life. And in a relationship too, whoever you have, I do hear that they, I heard weight on you hand and foot. I don't know that that's the, the greatest, I, I'm not, I don't know if that's the greatest representation. I feel like they, they do want to do little extra things though, here and there. I don't feel like it's anything really crazily out of balance. Um, and if you have an, if you have to recover from something, maybe that's what it is too. If somebody's laid up for a little bit, that may be what it is too, that people come forward and you just feel that energy of love and caring and support. So that may be for a very select group of people, that phrase waiting on you hand and foot. Um, but I do feel like with this overall, it's an energy of attainment. It's an energy of really being on the right track and feeling like you've got a new beginning and it's all straight from the heart. So the two of wands is going to help your life pick up and expand in a lot of ways. It's just in some ways similar to the Knight of Pentacles where you make the plan, you look out at the universe, you take a look at the landscape and you say, I'm going for it. I'm doing this. I'm jumping right in. And so in a relationship too, I feel like the both of you know when you see a good thing. Now, somebody here though, like we talked about before, if you've had a problem in a relationship, I do see that part of it is just looking at just a per, the perspective of the the greater part of life. Like, I don't think that whatever that falling out was, was important enough to do this. I just feel like whatever it is, if it's somebody that you know you want to have in your life, I just don't see you guys spending much more time apart where it really will be a time of saying, let's put these swords down. Let's not continue with the fear and the anger and the hurt and the bitterness. Um, and so with this, it's also too, it can keep you from seeing opportunities that are right in front of you. So in terms of a job too, if you've been feeling like that, should I stay or should I go? I do feel like somebody here is going to move forward in a, in a change. Uh, I don't think this is going to hold you back forever. That's for sure. It can be difficult energy though to navigate and it, we've got to be careful not too much thinking, not allowing ourselves to create scenarios that actually don't even exist in this. Because the Archangel Michael comes in and says, let's get into flow. Let's be easy about things. It is a card too, though, of great healing energy. And so I do feel like as you go into this, I, I like this too, by the way, as we end out there and conclude the reading, this too is so beautiful in terms of a new chapter, a new beginning where you have trust, love, healing energy. And I would say too, with the energy of temperance, because it also represents moderation. If you've had a tendency to, you know, in previous living arrangements, maybe you collected a lot of stuff and you went, oh God, I'm not doing that again. I'm going minimalist. There you go with this. It'll be a lot easier to do it. Or if as you get into the summer, you say, oh, I'm starting to Scale starting to creep back up. I can already tell it. I've been a little too crazy with things. Too many summer barbecues. All that food is so good. But I do feel like for somebody here, you're going to kind of get yourself back on track a little bit. But again, it's you moderating you. So it's not like somebody around you is telling you to do it. You don't have an almond mom over your shoulder trying to tell you what to do here. So with this overall, though, it is a feeling of support. And with the Ace of Pentacles, 
this is feeling luck, really. It feels like this is your lucky day, but it's really alignment. So those of you that are single, maybe it's that summer bar barbecue where you meet somebody, but I do feel like you have a new door opening, a new chapter in love, and it's stable. And if it is a move, if you're making a move and you're single right now, I feel like once you conclude that move, you're going to meet somebody. Those of you that you're already in something, you have an engagement here. You've got to return to love as well. So I do feel like with this Ace of Pentacles, either way, it's going to have you feeling supported, feeling stable, but feeling like this is long term. So if you felt like in the past, you couldn't really plan things out like you wanted to. With the Ace of Pentacles, you'll be able to do that easily. There's nothing holding you back. And too, we mentioned about the uh, in terms of the physical body, this also is a new chapter. So it kind of helps you too if you're if you've gotten off track a little bit over as we be, began the summer here. Well, the Six of Cups comes in and it's helpful people galore. It's people who want to help you, see you win. I keep seeing that flower shop for some reason. Um, so again, you might be on the receiving end of some nice flowers, but email or female doesn't matter to me. But either way with this, it is people who are looking out for your best interest, who want to support you, who want to be just a good human being. And so I mentioned before, it helps you have that return to trust where you see the, the good in humanity, but also to return to love for some of you. So overall, beautiful energy, Scorpio, as you head into this next chapter here, let's see what the angels want to tell you. What else does Scorpio need to know, please? What messages do you have for Scorpio, please? Advice for Scorpio. Listen to your intuition. Allow your intuition to be your guide. So meditate, quiet the mind with that temperance energy. Improving health. So we did kind of dabble in that. If you have something going on, you're going to have support, but also improvement. It's up to you, they say. So with that two of wands, you'll be inspired to take action. They do say you're ready. They say there's something better. So when you ask, ask this or something better because there's more available to you. Good things are on the way for you, Scorpio. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.